So this is basically the layout of the shop. It goes all the way out to out here. It goes that way. Let's see how many seconds it takes to, to walk across this whole thing. So it's somewhere right here. All right, whole 18 seconds, man. That's crazy. Can I get your order, please? In building with earth bags, we discovered our family thrived creatively and grew stronger by working side by side. We welcome you to be part of our family for this week's adventure. Well, we got the leveling down to the shop. But on to other things like the utilities. We've got plumbing, we've got electrical, we've got water, and we've got some channels that we're gonna be able to use to be able to run things towards the middle of the floor. And across it and stuff like that. Yeah. All right, Dad. So some materials for the shop? Yep. Yes. Let's go get them. Load and start digging, huh? Yeah, huh? What is that thing for? Um, uh, it's a dirger tube. I'll show you how it works. Wow. What do we think? That's fancy. It's time to dig trenches and do plumbing. So in this corner, we have a toilet that's gonna go in place. That's gonna be in this corner. We need to figure out the height of this pipe. There's a certain drop it needs to have, and our septic's way over there. So we wanna make sure that our septic isn't obviously higher than this point, otherwise this point has to go in the air. The last thing we wanna do is go cleaning out a sewer. So we need to get a grade on that so we can figure that out. We gotta find the entrance point into the septic. The edge of the septic's right here, so I'm gonna dig in this area in hopes we can find a pipe. We guessed right, there she is. That was a good guess, huh? It was your guess. Thanks for digging. Laser level's right there, and it's level. It's just shooting a laser at us. So we have that measurement. Yeah, from here to here. That's the difference in ground. Right. So we need to dig <sighs> this down about a half a foot. That's good though. There used to be an old shower that used to be there in the corner and we wanted to put the toilet there. And the sewage pipe, of course, runs not just through the floor but through the wall and everything of all the concrete that oh. used to be there. So we have to chip all that away and run our pipe through there. Fun, huh? Yeah. We found this electrical line just here. Dad's gonna rip it up. All right, we made a hole. A hole. It's a hole. <laughs> it's a whole new world. Whole new place for our sewage system. <laughs> I know why they use these things. They're not too bad. Oops, got a dent in there. Nice. Is it stuck? For now. I'll get it. <laughs> I'll get it out soon enough. If only we had a stick of dynamite, we could just stick. <laughs> I think that'd do much more than we were expecting it to. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, that's why it's been so hard to chisel through. There's a metal piece of bar that's through there. Look at that. Yeah. You punch holes through it with the drill. <laughs> I got it at the measurement we wanted it at. 
we really wanted our, our sewerage line to go right there. Yeah. We didn't want it over there. We didn't want it over there. Right through the hardest slab. <laughs> we did it. Over here, we have our electrical, which is gonna come in here, which is what this girder tube is for. Not actually what it's called, is it? Dead? our power pipe. It's the thing that's going to power the whole shop. Isn't that kind of weird? All our power is going to fit through that. Isn't that crazy? Good cables. And this one we have septic, which is coming from the upstairs actually, which will come down over here. Oh, septic way over here, water way over here. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> here on the plumbing show of Bryson, Bryson's Plumbing, I get to show you how to plumb a sewage. It's very simple. You first look through the sewage pipe and measure the uh, bend in the pipe. You want to make sure that the bend of the pipe is as up as possible so the sewage will clog and stop and not go down the pipe. Very important. Here's our glue. Um, and of course the, the glue is very hard to open for my weak muscles. This is just embarrassing. I cut the, cut the film right here. And of course every plumber needs a pair of channel locks. Very important for the job. The main purpose is just to open and do the glue. You don't use channel locks for anything else. Uh, used sewage pipes work the best. All right. So is this a new rag? Little homestead shirt? Oh, yes. Yes. You, Rock. I'm looking at you, Rock, over there. Very important to go very skimpy on the glue. You want as many leaks as possible. Clogs and you want leaks. Very important. What we gotta do is we need to lay in some piping. This isn't anything that's gonna travel any plumbing mostly. It's just gonna be for other things. Like we have a couple vacuum lines we're gonna run in the floor here. So we need a couple pipes for those. And essentially they're just gonna be hollow essentially so we can run things in them later. So what's your thing? Trench. It's like my straight line board thing. It's perfect. It's gonna be for vacuum line for this side as well. And that, like a T this way too, something like that. We can just use the little black. Let's we'll use the black tubing. On this section here, and yeah. the white on the long. Yeah, don't you think? Yeah. Here's our pipe. My expertise skills tells me that I'm gonna cut this way raw at first, but we're gonna try it anyway. Mm -hmm. That's where we're starting at this end and not there. Yeah. All right, sweet. And then that one should just, Woo. perfect. Gotta be very clean. Squeaky clean. Squeak. <laughs> as, you, as you chunk up a bunch of dirt. <laughs> We'll have to lift these ends up, duct tape them. All right, thinking right here. We have this so measured right now. If you're dealing with a three inch hole that you need to do, you drill a inch and a half hole and you get a pipe cap like this. And this is an inch and a half. So that just sticks right in your hole. Nice. Something looks really wrong about that, but we're gonna cut it and see what happens. <laughs> That's what duct tape's for. Yep, all right, so we got those black pieces will just go there, simply just lay them there. The center section of the of the wood shop, we want to have utilities running in the floor. So we need to dig some channels so we can run stuff out to those center sections. So go around this way. There's going to be power in these boxes, right? Yeah, this is just electrical here. You know, the max goes 240 there. Maybe. That section there. The distance qualifies as a but. We may or may not be duct taping this. As we said before, it's casing. <laughs> Just casing. Something like that. That looks right? Yeah. I like how our 45s did not turn out 45. Yeah, it's all right. <laughs> That's straightish. Perfection. At its finest. It's fine, right? It's fine. Probably. <laughs> so, I'm laying some of the airline in right now. Make our lives easier. It's in the hole. <laughs> Put 
Wow. It worked. That worked really well, actually. Yeah. We had the right amount of curve to it. All right. It's really begun now. Okay, they didn't have fancy connectors for me. T mm -hmm. here and an elbow. So I thought, you know, let's find something that fits in the hole. Well, this fits in the hole really nicely. And then we can put some caulking in there. And I bought these to strap that up. wrap up this week we got the piping and plumbing and it's looking good now we got to get the forms in place and the rock laid and the rebar Ooh. and then we get on to some more exciting stuff also too if you uh, have an opportunity to look at the patreon setup that we have it's a great way to help support what we do for a little bit each month to kind of help things flow a little bit better this way and, and help to fund our projects here we're so grateful for our patreon supporters if you missed last wednesday video there was another video tip series that came oh, out man. of course as always we're going to have a monday podcast so stay tuned for that the t-shirt of the week is beware of cow because you never know when that cow is going to walk across your foundation and destroy it. Yeah, you might have little cow prints all over it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. As always, thank you for being part of our family. Um, we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye. Thank you. We're always trying to film when these things go over. Those things are noisy, aren't they, Dad? Yeah. The F. This is F for fun. Okay, F for fun. Actually, it's a backwards you, F. It'd be this way. Yes, F if you're fun. dyslexic, that was the dyslexic F. And then uh, M. M. For my little homestead. Like it. <laughs> Our family moved from the city to the country. Thanks for taking part in our adventure. We have new videos every Friday evening. If you would like to help us out, you can like this video, share it, subscribe, or support us on Patreon. See the links in the description. We have our own messaging system. <laughs> 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 So if I blow air into here, you would breathe it in at that end? I think that's how that works. Ooh. <laughs> that's a lot to take in all at once. Uh-huh. Yeah.